Hi guys and welcome back to the 30 day mean stack Honolulu challenge. Uh, today is day six and we're going to work on our login page and get that looking uh, like our wireframe today. So uh, just again the flow, so we've done the home page, we're moving on to the login page um, and shortly after that we'll move over to our, um, our customers page. So just having a quick recap of the, um, the wireframes that we're going to build. Um, when we're looking at our mobile view, we want it to look something like this. So we want uh, a, a row for the login, we want um, a row for username and password, we want to have a little icon to the left of the field, um, same thing with password, we want to have a little bit of a space, and then we want to have a login button which extends all the way across um, our, um, our column. Um, when we uh, when we incorrectly input a username or password, we want to show up with a little uh, error message, and that should be above our um, username field. And um, and when we're looking at our app uh, on a tablet or a desktop or a TV, uh, we we actually want it to take up the middle third of the page. So if we kind of think of this. Um, we've got a sort of a third on the left and a third on the right, uh, and this um, this login section will take up the third, the middle third of our um, our login page. So um, let's get into it now. Before we jump straight into the code, I'm going to jump across to Bootstrap and show you um, how to actually format a field with a little um, icon on the left there. So if we jump across to Bootstrap. So we're going across to getbootstrap.com. Um, and I'm just in components over here, and um, you know one of the things I see here is the glyphicons, which we uh, we've used in a previous video. Um, for our app, the two glyphicons that we're using are the user and the asterisk. And if you you know, weren't familiar with that, um, we can see we've got asterisk over here, and we've got um, our user icon over here. Um, the other thing that we're going to do is. Oops, have a look at um, the fields to get that, that format right. Um, and the way we do that is just go to input groups. And if you navigate down, you see that um, input groups already come with this formatting for this little um, this little icon on the left and uh, the placeholder on the right. So that's um, essentially what we're what we're looking to um, recreate. And um, we can do that um, fairly straightforward. Um, we just copy the input group code here, and we'll use that um, in a sec when we when we start um, playing with our code. Um, before we do that, though, I just wanted to show you what the current sign-in or the current login page uh, for our app looks like. So this is the home page that we've created in our previous videos. If I jump across to sign-in, we see we're looking something like this. Today, we're going to get rid of all the social accounts, um, and we're just going to focus in on the, um, the username and password, make that look like our wireframe. Now, in your app, as you're, as you're working um, uh, through, the, through the videos with me, you know, if, you want, if you feel like you want to leave some of the social accounts in, in your app, you know, feel free, go ahead and do that. Uh, and I'm you know, really excited to see what you create uh, at the end of the 30 days. So I'm going to jump into it. And uh, I'm going to go across to my code editor. I've got WebStorm open over here. And uh, just to go across to, so we start off with the project that we're, we're looking at, um, go down to public modules, and um, we're going to go across to the users module, down to views, and we're looking at the signin.client uh, view. All right, so the HTML for that. So that's what I've got open over here. Um, and I'm going to just start kind of hacking away at the code. So I'll just get rid of um, all of that. So that removes that top portion of the code for me. And... Um, what I'm going to also do is just change up um, how this this is actually being laid out on the page. Um, you can see that there's a few bit of refreshing going on. That's just Grunt working in the background, keeping an eye on my files and um, re refreshing things for me. So I can actually just um, work on this as I go. So I'm going to say that's login. So if I go back to the um, the, the wireframe, we see we've got login at the top there, um, and then just under that we've got our username and password fields. Um, so here you can see there's a label at the top before we get to the actual field. We don't need that, so we're going to get rid of the labels. Uh, so I can just um, delete those. Um, 
And I said before that we could just copy the class, but you can you can just type it out. It, it, you know, it's pretty much the same. So instead of form group, I'm just going to change it to input group um, and change that to input as well. Um, but you see in, um, in Bootstrap, in the example code, uh, after the input group, there's this span class. So I will copy that piece out and just paste that in above the input type um, and um, in here I'm just going to put in the glyphicon that we want so I class um, and if you don't sort of have it handy with you you know you can um, you, you you can just grab it really really easily from um, from bootstrap components and just copy that out so for example um, if you just copy glyphicon.user, put that into that class there. Um, and for this one down here, which is our password, spans for some reason, WebStorm doesn't like spans and it sort of formats it a bit strangely. Um, but for this one, I just want to copy that bit there and put that in here. Uh, all right, cool. So now we're starting to get a little bit of structure. So if we look at our app, um, once we get that refresh, we'll see there's uh, an asterisk at the bottom there. Uh, I want to change the color slightly. So I'm going to just make that uh, text muted just to give it a slight color change because uh, I noticed that when I was looking at the, um, the icons. And... I'm just going to jump to the um, the mobile view so I can um, see that a little bit bigger and you can see that a little bit bigger as well. Uh, all right, so we've got our login. Um, we've now got our two fields set up. Um, and the last real piece that we need to do is make sure that we've got the error message in the right place. We've got our login button in the right place. So um, there's a, a slight error in the code here. There's a sort of an underlying um, and it says ta tag start is not closed. Actually, there's just an equal sign that seems to be um, missing in the code. So my version of the code. So I just plug that in there. So that's fixed. Um, so we grab this error bit here. Take that and um, put that just above the username field. So that now my um, error is at the top. We've also got next, so we've got this button, we've got our primary button. In order to make the button extend all the way across, because at the moment it's just really small, it sort of looks like that, um, we're going to do a couple of things. So one is this sign up bit here, we don't actually have that in our wireframe. So I'm just going to move that um, down to the bottom for now to decide what to do with it. Um, but for this, so now we should just have the sign in button and there's an or somewhere. So I'll get rid of the or, don't want that. And I want this button um, in the wireframe. That's actually green. So I'm going to change that to success. And I'm going to make this um, button large. So button LG. And I'm going to make this a button, um, oops, button block and that will extend it all the way across now the the code for button large and button block um, that's all on the bootstrap website so you'll be able to find it there if you um, if you're looking for it so just save that let's see how we're going with our um, with our app all right so we've got this um, the login sort of happening now we've got our spacing going on you can see that we've sort of lost a little bit of, um, of spacing between the username and password. Um, and we can bring, if we feel like it, um, the form groups back. So you could wrap this again with, um, with form group just to give it uh, a little bit of extra um, kind of spacing. So I'll do that. And um, we can just go across to, um, well, let's go across to bootstraps. Um, we'll go to input groups. Um, and we can see that there's this thing here for sizing. So in, in, input group. And if we have an input group large, 
um, that will actually make this larger um, or we can even have it smaller. So I want that to be large and I can just put that in to there and to there. So now we should be getting a little bit closer again. So this is you know, very, very close to um, where we wanted our, um, our code to be. Um, what I am going to do is just put um, put this code with an or one of those, couple of those, maybe one before it. Um, so that, that just says put your password or sign up, which isn't part of the wireframe, but yeah, we'll we'll work with that. Um, now, lastly, we see that if I was looking at this on a mobile device, it's um it's actually indented in still, so it's actually it won't go kind of all the way across, um, and that's because if I go up to sort of line three, there's it's saying that when when you're showing this kind of on an extra small page, um, offset it by two, and only extend it across eight. So I can change that up and. Um, we can make that bigger, so I can make that to um, change it to one, and and change that to uh, ten to keep it even. Um, but when I look at this on a bigger screen, it that doesn't quite look right. That's not really the look that I'm going for. Um, so I want to extend that out. I want that to be a third of the um, of the page. So what I need to do is um, is look at this col md offset five, um, and actually I'm going to change that because I don't want to offset it by five. I um I actually want to offset it by um, four, and I want it to extend across by four, and that leaves four on the right hand side. So that would equal uh, twelve. So if I look at that now, just let that reload. And if I now look at that on a bigger screen, it's now um, it's now taking up a third. That's it for today. So please um, subscribe to the channel or check out bossable.com for more details. Thanks again.